Hi everybody, uh, I'm back for a new Twixt video. Um, today I want to make a video for intermediate players. I uh, made, uh, I guess, a video yesterday for beginners and uh, two days ago for advanced player. Let's uh, talk about the just, it's just a little more than uh, the basic things that uh, we saw uh, yesterday for, for beginners. Um, in this video that I call the three laws, uh, the three laws of Twixt, I will uh, explain three uh, principles that you always have in head when you are playing Twixt. And uh, moreover, it's not only true for Twixt, it's basically uh, three laws that you have to respect when you are playing uh, a, connection, a connection game. So let's... Uh, Let's pick a game and go on the analyzers like I always do. Okay, so the first law will be that when you are playing Twixt, you always need to remember that you are uh, trying to connect both sides. What I mean is that when it's easy to connect to one side, when you are playing a move you need to have in mind, okay, I need to play the move that will secure a connection on one side, but who will also help me to connect to the other side. Let me show you an example. I will first, in this video, I will first show you the, the laws on a little example, and then I will illustrate it in a real game that I played. Okay, so uh, for instance, uh, let's say that you are black in this position. Okay, and uh, white is trying to to go to the top. You are here with uh, your black peg and you want to connect to the left and to the right. Let's say that you want to secure first the connection on the left. If you want to secure the connection on the left, you can play this, okay? But the problem is that you forgot that you also need to connect on the right. So white just going to play this and, uh, okay? You're happy with your connection on the left, but it's pretty useless since uh, white uh, got the fight there. You can do a little better and playing this, but it's the same problem. You can do again a little better and playing this, but it will be also the same problem since, as you know now, the green line is uh, for white. And so if we go until the end, white will be connected. Okay. So finally, you need to try all the moves like this until this one and this will be the move that uh, will help you uh, in this position so always remember if you want to connect on the left try all the move in a circle like this until the move who is still uh, securing the connection on the left this will be the move that will help you to connect also on the right let's see in this position as you can see black is on the line and so black is connected to the left so this move still secure the connection on the left but now you don't have any problem on the right okay you found a move sorry i you found a move who helps you both on the left and on the right. And it's the first law in connection game. Don't play a move like this. Okay, you are happy, you connected on the left, but you, for, you for just forgot the right and you just gonna lose, okay? So try all the move until you find the one who is still securing the connection on the left but he is the more on the right possible and so he will help you to connect on the right. For instance, you have also some moves like this maybe or some moves like this. Many many moves you can try but the, the this one seems the, the stronger there. Okay, this was the first uh, low. Uh, the second low uh, is that you won't win a Twix game if you have only one idea. If you have one idea uh, 
the opponent will block this idea. When I say an idea, I mean a path. If you have one path to win in your head, it will be pretty easy for the opponent to block it. I will illustrate. For instance, in this position, okay? Uh, let's say you are white. How can you try to get the, the top with your pegs you have here? As you can see, if you just try to go de there, it's not good. Black is okay. If you try to go there, it's not good. Black is also okay, as you can see. It's because you are trying to win with only one idea. You're just trying to force something when it's clearly wrong. You, you cannot pass there. To illustrate what is uh, two paths, you can play something like this. Let me explain this kind of move. Uh, well, okay, let me explain this kind of move. This move is saying, I'm not trying to win directly. I'm proposing multiple ways where I can win. I can go all like this. I mean, in a line from this uh, peg to this one. Uh, and then I will play around there and I will go like this. And if black is trying to block you, for instance, like this, you can play this. And now the difference between what we saw before, you will use this new peg to be finally connected. Without this peg, in the previous variation, black was connected. With this peg, white is connected. So, as you can see, this move is a pretty advanced move. A beginner will never play a move like this. But it's to illustrate how you need to try to have always two ideas in your mind. This is a move uh, that will make you win a lot of tweaks game. A lot. Because here, as you can see, if black wanna block you there, okay, then you're gonna play here and you're gonna win like this. If black wanna block you there, you're gonna play there and you're gonna win like this, okay? So this is the second law <laughs> of Twixt and more generally of uh, connection games. And um, finally, the third law uh, would be the forced exchange. What I call a forced exchange is uh, if you can play a move where the, the opponent is forced to answer directly and you know how he will answer, if uh, you prefer the position after this exchange, just play it. Let me illustrate. For instance, uh, let's say that you are um, let's say that you are white in this position. Okay. Uh, you know that you cannot uh, go like this. Okay, it's not working, uh, but you want to play something like uh, this, okay. Before playing a move like this, you could uh, ask to yourself, but if I play this, just this, and black answer this, if I play this and black answer this, and I play this and black answer this, and now I play this, do I prefer this position to the previous one without all this move on the right. Of course, when you play something like this, you need to be sure that black gonna answer to your move. In this position, it's absolutely not true. Uh, if you if you play like if we play this, maybe w black won't answer this, so it's not really uh, working. But it's to illustrate. Let's say that you are absolutely sure in a position that your opponent gonna always answer to your move. If you prefer this position, then play this sequence. Uh, what is the idea? The idea is now, um, when black are gonna, of course, block you there, uh, it will be far easier for you to connect the top with the help of all these uh, moves. For instance, uh, let's say that you play this, okay? It's easier for you to connect all these white pieces to the top than only these three pieces to the top, these three pieces, it will be really hard to connect to the top because black uh, will just uh, take the position and uh, 
we cannot uh, cross uh, black actually okay so this was the three laws that i uh, want to talk today first always keep in mind that you want to connect two sides so don't uh, put uh, all your energy on one side you need to play some moves that are really balanced between the two sides the second law is that always having two ideas two ideas of pass in your head if you have only one pass in your head uh, the opponent will just block it and the third law is that to play some fourth sequence if you uh, have uh, some to play now i will uh, just um, illustrate this um, with some uh, real game that uh, i played okay so for instance we can uh, pick we're gonna i prepared three games okay we're gonna watch three games let's start with a game that i played uh, against a really really strong player who is actually a bot <laughs> a computer uh, and i think in this uh, game i i can illustrate uh, the three uh, lows the bot is absolutely amazing his level is really really good uh, it's designed by uh, bonnie jordan uh, and he's using some uh, really strong uh whoa <laughs> what are you doing my boy <laughs> okay um in this game as you can see i swapped uh, the computer started with uh, this uh, move and i decided to swap okay so i take it the move is just uh, put on the other way of the board but uh, this is my move and i'm i'm still black but uh, with this move okay let's see uh, the game at this point i'm gonna illustrate the second law always having two paths in your head with this move okay this move is the key move of uh, the of the game the, this is the key move of the of all uh, this uh, game played against uh, twixbot this move is saying that i can win or like this on the top from uh, this uh, h uh, 11 to p9 okay i can win directly like this but i can also win with h11 and i go there until my uh, m17 and now i will go through the white pieces until my uh, p9 and go again on the right uh, to win so you have two paths this one and this one let's see the the rest of the game with this move i will illustrate the first law okay i played this i could play this but it doesn't help me at all to connect on the left it helped me only to connect on the right i could play this but this is the same it only helped me to connect on the right i absolutely uh, it's absolutely useless for the left this move can maybe help me on the left this move would be even better to help me on the left but i probably wasn't sure about uh, some uh, possibilities uh, in this particular position of why there and i maybe wasn't sure that uh, this is enough to connect on the right and it's probably not uh, since i did not play it uh, or maybe i just uh, computed a win uh, with this move which is uh, enough to to win so but of course this move would be even better if it the it's uh, still a connection on the right okay so this is the the first law which is actually illustrate play this instead of this because this move will maybe help you to connect on the left and it's also secure the connection on the right okay let's continue um, the game here we are illustrating directly uh, the exchange okay white is playing here 
I could just uh, play there, okay, and I'm connected on the right. But I prefer to play this before, because this move may be gonna help me to connect on the left. It's a fourth sequence, and I am happy to play it. And uh, in the rest of the game, we'll see again some fourth sequence right now, okay? Here, again, uh, white is playing here. I could just play there, and uh, as you can see, uh, I am connected to the right. But I prefer to play this, and this, and this, because all these moves are forced. White is forced to answer because uh, this move is easily connected on the left. Okay, I played all these moves to reinforce my position so that it's more, it's easier to connect all of this black piece to the right that, uh, than without. And now I, I, I played this move and I'm, and I'm uh, connected. Okay. Well, in this move, uh, in this position, uh, white uh, gonna resign. Uh, but I guess uh, I could illustrate uh, the three uh, laws of connection games and of twixt. Let's take uh, another game. Um, let's take another game. Um, we will take uh, the one that I played with uh, M call. Okay, so in this position. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In this position, um, th this al already illustrates the second law, uh, having two paths. The idea is to go or like this, or like this, okay? I can go directly in a line on the left, or going on P13 and go on the top. Okay, let's see uh, the end. Here, I played uh, the third law, the fourth exchange. Here, uh, I'm pretty sure that black gonna answer to, to this. Plus, black is answering, because I can connect uh, on, the bot on the bottom. And again, he is answering. And again, he is answering. I play until this move, because if, if white, if black uh, is playing something else, I can do this. And as you can see, uh, I am connected to the bottom. So we played until this move. Now, of course, I need to play something else. I am forced to go there to uh, still have my two passes. I can go or like this, or like this. And now it will be the key move of uh, this game again. The move which connects my two uh, passes. I have one idea going like this or going like this and I will play at the intersection of the two paths. I'm playing this. I can go all like this, or like this, okay? This move will help me on the right or on the left. Well, and in this position, black resigned, since uh, again, here you can see uh, two different passes. If black block here, I will go there, and uh, it's an easy win for white. And if black go there, I will go there, and it's an easy win for white. So this is the second law of twixt. <laughs> and I will end uh, this. Uh, I will end this uh, short presentation of the three law of connection game with uh, last game. Uh, I have the number of this one. A game, a game that I played against David, which is not uh, the same player as uh, David Bush. It's another David. Let's see uh, this game. Here, White is saying, "Okay, let's let's say that uh, White can play two moves in a row." White is saying, "I can go there to win like this." But I can also go there to win like this. So it's a good example of the second law of Twix, having two, two ideas in your, in your mind. Black is entering with this move and he's saying, hey, me too, I have two ideas. I can win like this, but I can win also like this directly on the top. 
So this is a really strong move. And white is saying the same. Okay, that's not bad because uh, this move is protecting my two paths. If I try, if I try to win like this, okay, you can go there and you block me. And if I go uh, something like uh, there, you can go uh, in the middle. Okay, so you are blocking all my ideas, but it's not a problem. Me too, I can say that I have also, I have still two ideas. I can win like this or like this, as you can see. This move will help me to go to the top, but also to the bottom or directly or like this. Again, black is playing a move like this and he's saying the same thing. He's saying, I still can go like there, but also like this. I'm capable to win uh, directly in a row. So both players have uh, multiple ideas there in this position. And again, white is playing there, saying I reinforced my position on the on the bottom, but also on the top directly like there. Black uh, is securing uh, the top. White insisting. All of this. Uh, is to maintain the position to maybe win directly like this on the on the left of the board but still I, I still have the position to go in the middle and to reach these two stones and to go to the top at this moment uh, black made the first choice of the game he is saying okay i'm connected here so you cannot win anymore uh, here it's not possible for you to win uh, in a line on the left so uh, white could or go in the middle to say I will win like this okay or another move that I uh, choose is to reinforce my position on the right to say okay that's true that you blocked me on the left, but I still have two ideas. I still can win all like this from bottom left to bottom right, or like this from bottom right to top right, like this. Finally, at this moment, uh, black took the center. And so, as you can see, white has at this moment only one way to win the position, okay? Winning in a line on the left is not possible anymore. Winning from bottom left to top right is not possible anymore because black took the center. So I have only one way at the moment to win is to go from the top right to the bottom right. I'm still strong on top right. I, as you can see, I have a lot of white piece, but I'm really weak there, so I just gonna put a peg like this and I'm saying this game is a win for me because I am connecting with to the bottom there and to the top there. Black will try something but uh, will resign really fast because the game uh, is basically over since uh, white can connect easily these really strong four pieces to the top and uh, he is uh, basically here as you can say connected on the bottom because uh, he is on the on the green line. So in this position, uh, black uh, just resigned. Well, that's all for this uh, short video. It was just a video to uh, give you the three twixt and three connection gains uh, lows to have uh, in head. Don't forget that you have to play some balanced move that help you to connect the left, but also the right, or the top, but also the bottom. Don't forget uh, this. You you need to play balanced move between the two sides. Always having two ideas in your mind. I'm not trying with only one pass. Uh, the opponent will block it. I need to have two possible paths in my head. And if the opponent block one, I will choose the other one. And finally, the forced exchange that can help you to reinforce uh, a position. You play something which is forced, your opponent will have to answer there and it uh, upgrade your own position. You're happy to do this uh, exchange and then you're gonna play the, the other moves. 
Well, uh, that's all. Uh, it was uh, an intermediate uh, stream for Twix players. Uh, I hope uh, it will uh, help you to improve your skills and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.